Good morning, good afternoon, and a good night whenever you're finding the time to watch this video. Thank you guys for coming back to my channel. Welcome to Fran Plans. Um, it's really great to be in front of the camera. I have not done a face-to-face -face in a while. So, but let's get right to this video. Um, I really want to talk about meal planning. Um, so I've had a few people ask me on my Facebook or Instagram, you know, what is meal planning? Because, you know, some people it's foreign. Um, for me, um, I've been meal planning now for almost eight years and meal prepping for about eight years of my life. Um, if you don't know, I used to be extremely overweight. I used to be well over 250, so like 260, 270s. Um, and I got to a point where I was just tired of being overweight and I knew I needed to make a change because I wanted to be healthier. Okay, so this is like way, way before I met my husband, way before I had a baby and all that good stuff. So I got with my trainer that I've been with now for about the eight years, and I got my weight under control, got my, I never had any health issues, thank God, uh, but I got my weight under control, um, I work out, I'm a, I lift heavy, I do cardio, and, but the biggest thing about losing weight and maintaining the weight has been meal prep and my nutrition and meal planning, and I am starting to get more into learning my own body and not just relying on my trainer for my meal plans and so forth, but that has been one of the biggest things to not only keep my weight off, maintaining it, but just to feel good too because I understand everyone does not have the same goals. For me, I started with my trainer, I started working out, I lost weight, and then I started doing bodybuilding competitions. I've done six, fig I've been in six different figure girl competitions. I have my pro card. So I've really done a lot with my body. And now that I'm on the other side of postpartum, I'm, I'm in my postpartum, I am working on losing the rest of my baby weight and getting back to a more fit, more leaner body that I am used to being in. So, but I say all of that because I've had a few people ask me about meal planning and meal prepping. And so I figured, why not just do videos about it? I may do, I want to maybe do more of this on my channel. So I'm trying to expand outside of just the paper planner and more into just planning because this is Fran Plans and I do a lot of planning and some of it does not require a planner, although I have my planner because I have some notes that I've written down to share in this video. So let's talk about meal planning because I know most people when they hear it, it just sounds like a broad umbrella term or phrase that a lot of people just throw around meal plan meal prep meal plan meal prep but they don't give any real concrete um, meaning to it and so and I'm just speaking from my perspective I am a registered nurse and I do have my pro card when it comes to figure competitions but I am NOT a nutritionist and so I'm not gonna give you you know it would be a disservice for me to say you need this amount of that you would need to talk to your doctor about or you would need to talk to a nutritionist or a dietitian about but I'm gonna give you um, is from my perspective how meal prepping and meal planning works and some tools that maybe you can take from my videos to implement into your own life okay so um, I first and foremost want to say, and if you see me looking down, planning is basically just like we sit down with our planners and we may plan out our week, or we sit down with our of the financial planner or your budget planner, your own paper and pen planner, and you plan out your finances for the month or for the week. Meal planning is doing the same thing. It's sitting down, whether it's digital or paper and pen, and writing out what it is you're going to eat from day to day. It doesn't mean you have to eat the same things. I do eat the same things pretty much every day, but it does not mean that that's what you have to do. It just means you're planning out your meals. And you're going to eat to your goals if you have goals. Some people just meal plan to, to save on their budget so that they're not spending. Um, you know, Some people end up going to the grocery store like every day. Meal planning allows you to use what you already have and make meals out of it. You meal, you plan your meals um, versus not planning. And then when you get up in the morning, you don't have anything in your home for breakfast or anything cooked for breakfast. So you end up going to McDonald's or Burger King or Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks. If you meal plan, you can already have your coffee in your home. You can already have your uh, English muffins with your sausage, which you know whatever you're whatever you're gonna eat 
you can have money. Number two, you're saving your time for running to the grocery store or running to the restaurant first thing in the morning. And then for lunch, you're saving instead of going to the cafeteria. It allows you to save money, but it also allows you to save your time and be more productive with yourself. So that's number one about meal planning. So don't let meal planning com- confuse you with, you know, that maybe you do want to eat because I think, quote, unquote, diet. Meal planning is in your pantry and what you have in your refrigerator. Make meals out of those things. If you're not a chef, I don't think it requires you to self um, and plan out that you can be successful when it comes to that. Okay, so that's meal planning. It's just it is what it what it is. And then, like I mentioned, you're going to eat for your goals, whatever that is. If it's to lose weight, if it's to maintain your weight, if it's to gain weight. Now, like I said in the beginning, I am not a dietitian or nutritionist, and I'm not an MD. I am a red. But I would advise you, if you have goals of losing weight, if you have the goals of maintaining your weight, or if you need to gain weight, I can't believe that there are those people out there, but there are people who need to, you know, they need to put on a little size. Talk with your doctor or your nutritionist and find out how many calories per day you should be eating or what your macros are. Get with a trainer. Get Find someone that you trust if you can afford that and... Um, you know, find out what, you know, discuss what your goals are and, and, and figure out what you should, how much calorie or macros and macros are proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. That's what macros are. Find out what percentage of your food every day should fit into that. And once you do that, once you figure out the math, then it comes down to, you know, figuring out what you want to eat and how does it fit into your meal planning. And so if you want, if you, and there's so many different eating lifestyles. I don't want to say, I don't want to say diets, but there's lifestyles of eating. There's Whole30. There's Keto now. Well, Keto's been out for a very, very long time. But I know that's like the, the fad or the hype right now is keto. A lot of people love keto. So there's Whole30, there's keto, there's intermittent fasting, there's um, Weight Watchers, there's people who, you know, like myself, we eat every three hours, high protein, low carb. Um, so there's that. Find out what, what lifestyle you want to choose, vegan, vegetarian, whatever it may be. And then incorporate the calories and the or the macros or you know whatever into that, so that you can figure out what you need to eat and how much you need to be eating. Okay. Um. Now, what I typically do on a weekly basis is Sunday is like the day for meal planning for me because it's pretty much like my laid back day of the week. Um, it's the beginning of the week for me. Um. And what I typically do is, I usually do two meal preps a week, pretty much. And then sometimes, you know, you may have to cook a little bit more turkey or a little bit more chicken or a little bit more, you know, more roasted vegetables if you're running low. But what I typically do, Sunday, if I get home from the gym or grocery store, I will set aside at least two hours um, to get all my proteins. I do my turkey, I do my chicken or whatever your proteins may be, get everything cleaned or washed or seasoned or however you want to do it. And I'll get my, my chicken, I'll put it in my Instant Pot. So I'll do like, like I think it's five pounds of chicken. And this is for me and my husband. So what I do is I do bulk preps. So I'll do all the chicken, I'll put it in the Instant Pot, get that going. That's easy. Instant Pot, close it and set it. It's ready. Um, and then I'll do the turkey. I'll do like our ground turkey or ground beef or sirloin, whatever you have in the cast iron skillet. I'll get that all cooked up. And I have I have these basic proteins cooked. I you do like I do like minimal seasoning on them, so then we can take from that and make my husband. I, I pretty much will just eat the protein with like mixed veg, mixed veggies or sweet potato or something like that. But my husband can make like chicken tacos or he can do turkey tacos. Like so, we have those basic proteins cooked, and then we'll do like a big pan of roasted vegetables. So I'll, so I'll get, get like the frozen veggies in the bag at Costco, pop them in the oven on a sheet tray, um, and cook those. So we got tons of veggies. We got our basic proteins. Um, because I do work from home, I don't prep my breakfast because I just get up in the morning. I do like five scrambled eggs and some fruit and I'm good to go. But I would suggest, you know, maybe doing, um, your egg whites or if your eggs or whatever you're eating for breakfast, prep those things on Sunday. So what I typically do is I'll prep like our basic proteins. 
I'll do like my sweet potatoes in the oven. I'll do like a sheet of veggies for my husband and I. And so then we have like, I have meals prepped for half of Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Then I reevaluate where I'm at come Wednesday morning. Do I need to make more veggies? Are we good on protein to last us till, let's say, Saturday, Sunday morning? Am I good? I'm always trying to do an inventory to see where we are. So then also what I'll do is if I am going to have to leave at the house, because sometimes I do have to go to work for like a meeting or whatever, I will go ahead and do my meal containers and portion out everything. Another great, some great tools that I can't, um, I can't speak you know, I have to mention in this video, pretty much is what I'm trying to say, is a food scale, meal prepping containers, which you can get on Amazon. You can just type in literally meal prep containers or meal lunch containers. A food scale, which you can get at Target, Walmart, Amazon, wherever. Um, measuring cups, measuring spoons. Those are great tools for anyone who's cooking. And then anyone who's into meal planning and meal prepping. Uh, so planning is this planning out your meals for the week or the month, however you want to do it. And then the prep part comes in with, you know, washing your vegetables, washing your fruit, cooking those proteins, having them already set, cooking your carbs, cooking your rice, cooking your sweet potato, whatever it is, or your pasta, whatever it is that you are going, that you're planning to eat, go ahead and prep it so that way you don't fall off the wagon you know with not having your foods available to you um and it could be you know measuring out if you're eating mixed nuts if you're eating a protein bar have those things available to you or for you so that you don't fall off the wagon i think that's where a lot of people they forget they don't they'll have they know in their mind they shouldn't be eating eating a certain thing at a certain time and i don't think any food should be off limits i think you eat for your goals and i think you I think we we shouldn't really label foods as bad or good. I think because I think, like I said, there's so many different eating lifestyles that you know someone for, on keto would probably think bacon is okay versus someone who is a vegan or vegetarian is gonna be like, no, no way. So there's no you know everybody has their own idea of what good and bad food is. So I don't like to use those terms personally because I don't want to offend anybody. Um, but you know, I can't, going back, I got a little off topic there. Going back, I would just say your tools are your scales, your food containers, your meal, your uh, measuring spoons and cups. So that way you are prepared and you, you know, you plan for your success. And so like, as, like I said, I typically will do all of our, I'll sit down, figure out the meals, and then I go to the grocery store. But before I go to the grocery store, I want to take inventory as to what we already have. Do we have, you know, our chicken breast that lasts us for the week? Or do we need to restock? Do we have enough, um spinach for salads or mixed greens for salads for the week where are we so that that way I'm also keeping an eye on on the grocery budget so sit down do your inventory sit down plan out your meals go to the grocery store or order you know however you get your groceries I know there's so many different delivery systems now for groceries whether online or you have all these different these other um services to provide you with your meals and then um actually cook your foods or and then it's also a lot of meal prep services now where they will cook your clean foods for you and you just pick them up and they come in the cute little containers and you just pop them in the microwave or in the you know however you want to heat your food up and you're good to go but I think meal planning and meal prepping is key to being successful. Uh, keep in mind, like I said, there's so many different eating lifestyles that I don't think you can really go wrong. Just find one that fits you and stick with it. And, I mean, you can always change it if you don't like that one. Um, but I, I would say at least set aside at least two hours for yourself. Um, but I think uh, also key is finding out what your nutrition goals are. Um, and then meeting with your doctor or nutritionist or a dietitian or a trainer who can um, give you tips on nutrition and a calorie uh, set for the week or the month. I mean, a, a calories for your day and then your macros. And then you can find out, you can, you can figure out um, the foods you should be eating. Um, you know, and so, you know, you want to be careful when you prep your meals because, like I said, I try to do at least two to three days um, of food 
fat because you know you have proteins you don't want to sit in the refrigerator for too long you want to make sure your your fruits and veggies don't go bad so you want to keep an eye on those things and then you just want to stick with it and if you need an accountability partner there's tons of Facebook groups that have uh, ways of I'm sure meeting up with a, an accountability partner to stay focused on your goals for that you know for that time period or for you know it should be a lifestyle change is the way I look at it um but I'm going to go ahead and end this video here because I do want to leave it like I want to do a, I want to continue to do videos on this. So leave your questions about meal planning or prepping and I will then be able to bring those answers to the next video. Um, this is not something that probably will um, uh, like it may take a while to get the hang of meal planning and meal prepping is what I'm trying to say. A lot of times it's trial and error just with anything else. And then also, I think, um, you know, it just takes time, especially if you're not, it takes time to develop a new habit is what I'm trying to say. So don't be too hard on yourself as well, but give yourself time. I think the key takeaways from this video should be, um, you know, what is meal planning? It's basically planning your meals, taking time out of your day to sit down and say, what am I going to eat tomorrow? Do I have those foods available? If not, what do I have available that I can cook and save myself some time and money of running out to the grocery store? Um, and then going from there. Um, and then also, like I said, some great, some great tools that I think are useful for meal planning and meal prepping and I, I left this out, a journal, a planner, whether it be digital or paper. Um, I think that's a great tool for meal planning or meal prepping. And then on top of that, like I said, a food scale, some containers so you can keep your foods, food in, especially if you're leaving the home or traveling or whatever. And then um, measuring cups, measuring spoons, and so forth. Um, and then a lunch bag if you need, like an insulated lunch bag, of course, that would be great too. That way you can stay on course with your meals and not fall off of the wagon and if you do fall off the wagon you can always get back and get back on there so don't be intimidated by that so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video I'm gonna stop here uh, like I said I really would love it if you guys could like um, leave questions or comments so that I can know what because I, I don't know what people may want to learn about meal prepping. I've been doing it for so long. It's almost like second nature to me. But I understand that that's not the case for a lot of people. So I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do thank you for sticking it out with me. And uh, leave comments and questions, guys. Thank you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.